Hello beautiful soul, welcome to Infinite Manifestations. In today's video I will share some very specific karmic lessons for karmic debt number 13. If you don't have a karmic debt number 13 you will still learn some numerology secrets. So keep watching till the end. Popular culture tells us to avoid certain numbers. 13 comes to mind and embrace others. Hello, lucky number 7. It's ironic, therefore, that one of the central tenets of numerology, the study of the spiritual meaning of numbers, is that there is no such thing as a good or bad number. Every number has its ideal attributes while also presenting us with certain patterns and challenges. Diverse numbers and the various conditions in which they appear can function as indicators of change and what is to come, much as full moons can encourage various activities and behaviors in people. Each number has a spiritual significance that may be applied to individuals in a variety of ways. Simply keep an eye out for patterns and repetitions in your daily life. Much like beginner tarot card readers, you just need to learn what these symbols represent. Besides the present moment, numerology can predict the future and identify signs of the past that are linked to our karma. When someone is born, they bring with them numerical energy based on their birth date and name. Numerology can determine our prior baggage and what we have come to do in this life using the statistics, which we call our life path. Karmic debt numbers are just obstructive karmic patterns. That is, someone went through multiple incarnations trying to solve a problem or evolve an aspect and was still unable to do so. When a person is unable to break this barrier and appears to be imprisoned in an unending karma, it is not necessarily due to a lack of willpower. Ignorance results from not being aware of oneself. Imagine going your entire life without recognizing you carry such a load. That is why I'm here. If you want to learn more about numerology secrets, spiritual growth or just want to receive some positive vibes please don't forget to subscribe. To identify any karmic debt numbers please watch the video in the info card. The karmic debt is also known as a testing number, a warning number, or a hidden number. The karmic debt number basically implies that you have a debt to pay in this lifetime for activities you took in a previous existence. When you see this number, it indicates that you will have considerable hurdles or difficulties with a specific subject in your life. The number 3 in the 13 signifies creative energy and excitement that manifested as superficiality, laziness, and using words to hurt people in a previous incarnation. In this life, you have the opportunity to correct past errors that are now a burden. Your main goal is to become a more organized, dependable, dedicated, and respected individual. Self-control, scrupulosity, and honesty may all complement karmic number 13. You must become more organized and responsible in order to have a better life. Karmic debt number 13 also implies a debt of accountability for one's deeds. Whatever you do, it is critical that you understand all of the possible implications and are prepared to accept them with dignity. The expression of duty is also the reluctance to undertake something if you recognize that you are unable to cope with it and hence cannot accept responsibility for it. The number 13's harmony will represent a new stage in your life. Karmic debt number 13 frequently appears to persons who are continually looking for a goal in life. This is an obligation owed to oneself for being honest with oneself. It takes a lot of guts to be honest with others, but it takes twice as much courage to be honest with yourself. The karmic debt number 13 indicates that you need to understand yourself, your true aspirations, viewpoints, wishes, intentions, and your power to achieve your goals. Your inner core will guide you through life after you have found a balance inside yourself. Be real, straightforward, structured, deliberate, and transparent if you wish to balance number 13. Now listen carefully. People who are well organized do not squander time. They understand that remaining organized and productive go hand in hand. They create and maintain daily and weekly routines. They set timelines and objectives. Most importantly, they adhere to them. Similarly, if you live a cluttered lifestyle, you won't have enough time or space to meet deadlines or fulfill your goals. Examine your bucket list or create one as an experiment. Make a list of the goals you wish to attain this year or in your life. Then write down what you'll need to do to get there. Life is short, so do what is most important to you. More things equals more clutter. People that live orderly lives only keep what they absolutely need and want. Having fewer possessions also means that you will appreciate them more and will feel better about using all you own rather than letting half of your possessions build dust. Have you ever felt like you don't have enough space to keep everything you own? Get rid of some stuff instead of renting a storage unit or purchasing a larger home. As an experiment, write down the number of items you believe you require. After that, make a list of everything you possess. If the quantity of items you really own exceeds your ideal need list, it's time to downsize. This number frequently appears to persons who are continually looking for a goal in life. This is an obligation owed to oneself for being honest with oneself. 
It takes a lot of guts to be honest with others, but it takes twice as much courage to be honest with yourself. Karmic debt number 13 indicates that you need to understand yourself, your true aspirations, viewpoints, wishes, intentions, and your power to achieve your goals. Your inner core will guide you through life after you have found a balance inside yourself. Be real, straightforward, structured, deliberate, and transparent if you wish to balance number 13. Being accountable isn't always easy, but it is important and worthwhile. It builds trust within teams and can earn you respect. Understand your role. You must understand your obligations in order to be held accountable. Be truthful. Set away your pride. If you require assistance, request it. And if you've made a mistake, own up to it. Please express your regret. If something went wrong and you were to blame, apologize. And show them what you're going to do to make things right. Make good use of your time. People must be able to rely on you to complete tasks on schedule. So, prevent procrastination and efficiently prioritize your responsibilities. Don't go overboard. Taking on too much will almost always result in a missed deadline. Be realistic about how much you can fit into your schedule. Reflect. Accountability allows you to learn from your actions. Your attachment to pleasure is accompanied with a natural lack of self-control. In all likelihood, you are constantly eager to satisfy your body and mind's primal desires, and you exhibited very little self-control in previous lifetimes. This debt number is requesting that you stop this behavior and concentrate on strengthening your self-control. It's a priceless tool that assists people in pursuing their genuine passions in life. You will be able to pay off part of your karmic debt if you strengthen your self-control. Laziness is a general human quality, although it is more prevalent in persons who have a karmic debt number of 13. It's possible that you accomplished very little in earlier lives, and whatever vengeance you received was at the hands of others. So, pay close attention. This is your time to break the cycle and focus your efforts on hard work. A good day's job may provide a lot of satisfaction, which you may be able to connect to on several levels. Making a plan for how you will complete a task will help you get there faster. Create an action plan after being realistic about how much time, effort, and other elements will be required to reach your objective. A strategy will offer direction and confidence, which will be useful even if you encounter a stumbling block along the route. When making objectives or preparing to tackle a task, Take a time to consider your talents. To help you get things done, try applying them to different elements of a task. According to research, concentrating on one's skills boosts productivity, pleasant sentiments, and job engagement. Giving yourself a pat on the back for a job well done will help drive you to continue. Consider keeping track of your successes in all you do, whether at work or at home. It's an excellent approach to enhance your self-esteem and motivation to keep going. We all have our favorite diversions for when we don't feel like doing anything whether it's looking through social media or playing with our pets. Make your diversions more difficult to reach. This can include going to a quiet area to work, such as a library or an empty room, or using an app to block sites that you visit aimlessly while you should be working. Always remember, getting a thing done is a reward in and of itself, but some people are motivated by external incentives. Concentrate on the benefits of getting something done, such as moving closer to a promotion or rewarding yourself for a job well done. Celebrate the completion of a large endeavor with a night out, or bring friends over for a drink after a long day of cleaning. Be open to receive and I hope to see you in my future. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.